name's Chris Beast Boy Barnett, uh, coming from, we'll say, Athens, Georgia right now. And I'm all, I'm here to um, chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum, baby. No, let me stop. <laughs> no, okay, now to the real one. Let's get, the, let's, get the, let's get a call to action. So now just... Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Chris Beast Boy Barnett, fighting out of uh, Athens, Georgia. I'm here for some subversive BJJ, baby. I'm down here to get some front hand, back hand slaps on, baby. Let's go. Uh, what do they say in MMA? If you punch a black belt, he becomes a brown belt. Punch a brown belt, he becomes a purple belt type thing. So this gives me the ability, without being so violent, a couple, a couple of these to, to make the room and uh, create that space that you need to be able to pass and whatnot. So I absolutely love it, to be honest with you. Um, now, this depends on who you ask. Me, personally. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you see it. I'm going to start qualifying it real quick. <laughs> uh, it just, again, depends on who you ask. Me, personally, I don't, I don't put myself past, like, I say blue belt, maybe two strike type thing. You know what I mean? I've, I've subbed some black belts in tournaments. Uh, I've won absolutes against black belts in no gi. I mean, let me clarify that up in no gi and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, no, I, I, like, there's levels to jujitsu, and, and I understand that completely. You know, I've been beaten by guys, what, one, 135 before, you know? They, they, they get a hold of them ankles. It's a wrap, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a little spider monkey crawling around you the whole time. But, um, but yeah, like, when as far as when it comes to uh, what I bring to it, I know there's more than, like, me, I, when I first started uh, jujitsu, I was like, oh, I know how to wrestle. So, but yeah, that went out the window immediately. You know, as soon as you touch your back and wrestling, you're like, oh, no. And here comes a BJJ guy sinking in. You're like, wait, time out. We don't do that in wrestling. No, that's not fair. You know, so my whole background as far as the wrestling, bringing it over to the BJJ, the scrambling aspect, I know I'm real good with the scramble, you know. So that, that was what I could definitely take away, like, the positives with it. And so with that... I grew. I tried to grow a little bit more with it. I learned my uh, one of my coach, Rob Kahn, actually. He uh, he told me, I need you to learn three submissions. Kiss. And I was like, what do you mean? Keep it simple, stupid. And I was like, okay, got you. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like Americana, uh, uh, Kimura, and like, uh, I forgot, and a key lock, you know, and something, something else. He called, like, basically just simple moves. And he said, I'm more worried about your defense than I am your offense, especially with you being more MMA savvy, you know. So he goes, let's get that defense Hands down, you know, you're in a match, somebody arm bars you, you know how to get out, stuff like that. He goes, when it comes to offense, personally, I'd rather you finish striking, but if it does show itself, I do want you to know, you know, what it is there, but we're not going to beat it into your head. I'm going to give you three submissions that I want you to learn, and we're going to stick to those type things. So, I get one of them three, you'll know. You'll know. <laughs> you'll be like, oh, he does know what he's doing. Nope, just those three moves. <laughs> but we'll do you know bjj first and then we'll do stand-up and then we'll mix it all together and then i noticed the difference in in classes and everything that i'm doing when we get a chance to punch to pass i'm, I'm 10 times better than me trying to okay okay he said don't use muscle but okay that's not working that's working oh wait we can punch okay mm. oh hey what do you know it worked real quick you know so that aspect with it the palm hand strike, like me, that used to be my favorite board breaking technique, a palm, a palm strike to the board during Taekwondo. So I was like, we can do these, like the straight ones, we don't have to just, <sighs> so I can't, I can't wait. Like the, I'm, I'm not worried, but as, as I was practicing for this, sometimes, you know, you're like, whoa, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've grasped that aspect of, I have to. Open hand, Chris. Open hand. You can open hand. I gotta get I gotta get in pimp mode. Pimp mode, baby. <laughs> open hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um that started out with Taekwondo. Um, four years old. Was doing that. Uh was a little knucklehead. My pops was like, Woo, I'm either gonna beat it out you or I'm gonna put you in one of these classes. He wasn't going to jail, so he put me in one of them classes, you know. So put me in Taekwondo at four. Uh from there, loved it, loved it, kept, you know, kept growing in it. Um, me and my brother, actually. My brother actually became like an Olympic alternate, all that, you know, all that jazz. So he took off in Taekwondo. He was making the paper and everything. And every every other Saturday, I'd be like, it's Curtis Barnett, Taekwondo superstar, just, and his brother was there. <laughs> I was tired of being an end there type thing. So I ended up switching over to wrestling uh, my sophomore year in, uh, in high school and fell in love with it, like the concept of that, that team atmosphere, but I got to do what I got to do type thing. You know what I mean? In comparison to a football, I got to rely on this guy to pull right, the running back to make the right gap. Wrestling, it's me. I get my pin, I get my win, we score some points. If the team doesn't lose, hey, guess what? I still won, you know, type thing, you know. But, uh, but yeah, between that and then 
wrestling, went to college, did a little bit of judo with uh, one of my friends named Ben. Uh, he's actually up in Wisconsin teaching judo now. But uh, after that, moved down here to this crazy state of Florida. And uh, you got to learn, you got you to gotta know more than Taekwondo. I'll tell you that much down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, came down this way. Um, Got lucky enough to, to win a fighter tryout and to join the MMA realms. And uh, from there, it's just been a journey. And I, I'm, I'm on that ride, baby. I am on that ride, you know. So are you interested in, like, developing, like, I guess, like, dipping your toes into the water on the jiu-jitsu competition oh, yeah. side? Yeah, yeah, that, that's why yeah. I'm here. That is why I'm that's, here. That's like, awesome. I've always been a fan of just competition in general. Like, I love the, the atmosphere of competition and then the entertainment side of competition. Like... I think a lot of people lose that in, you know, in, in it, you know, um, but me personally, I don't care if it's a jits match. I don't care if it's a fishing tournament. I'm going to entertain the masses somehow, some way, whether it be I take a bass and put it in the water or, you know, do something or whatever. But I'm going to entertain somehow, you know, uh, actually, <laughs> during my, uh, I've had a BJJ match. I think it's online. Actually, I was doing cartwheels because I couldn't pass the guy's guard. He had like rubber guards. So I was like, OK, if I get over it. Then I can get in. And my coach was like, no, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I was like, no, I got you. Did it. I landed right in his guard anyways. I did a full, <laughs> like, half backflip thing and landed right in the guard regardless. But, uh, but yeah, man, like, the the competition and entertainment factor for me, man, it's like it it puts me on another level. Like, it, it, it's a drug, as they say. Like, I love that that feeling of of me putting in this work and then getting that that back from the crowd. Like, oh. This guy's actually working hard. Let's cheer for him. And it's like, you guys really do like me, you know. So that that's always been my my drive and force, you know, for it is the uh, is appeasing the the masses, you know. If they, especially if they're paying money to come out there and watch it, they're they're putting their money down on fight TV. Subversa, VJJ.com. Uh, uh, you know, just just make sure <laughs> make sure you get your tickets. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that they're going to be entertained, you know. Like, I get it. We work hard for this money. Why am I going to spend it watching this dude do nothing? No, 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 no. You put your money down on me. You're going you gonna, to you gonna get what you're paying for. You're going to get what you're paying for. <laughs> there's, uh, there's always that, that hidden, those hidden guys in the gym that BJ, oh, us BJJ guys are better than these MMA guys type thing. You know, there's always been that, that kind of ruffle. But we always come together. We we'll always come together. This is actually a perfect perfect competition to to be like oh yeah by the way uh <laughs> let's let's see you pull that arm bar when i can punch you in your face you know type thing so i love that aspect of it and then again with the whole the versus the tournament style the team style of it like it, it, it's cool like especially since i've got you know my, my coach or whatever i haven't met our female uh uh Com competitor yet but but like I, i'm gonna get her on it but i've got dances and everything set up already for us like we got a little Wow, Z for the Zooks, baby. For the Zooks. <laughs> we got look, we got gang signs and everything. We are ready to go. But again, I think this is it's cool because it's it is individual wise, but it's it's it makes it even that much more hype. Like I know we probably have to be quiet during the matches. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't we all? Oh, thank God. No, yes. No. Yep. I'm turning up there. I, I got a little air horn and everything. I'm gonna be out there. Man, 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 let's go. You know. So that's the the hype behind it that I also love too. You know. Again, I said I'm gonna entertain. Whether I'm on that floor or on the side, you you gonna get your seven chuckles watching me. I promise you. But uh, yeah, it's just a great aspect to be able to bring everybody, everybody together with this. You know, uh, the the MMA genre and and the the BJJ guys. You know, uh, putting them all together in something like this, it it it's doing what it's doing. It's just it's, it's blowing up. Dude, it, I love it. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the Burger King McDonald's thing. You need it to make each other better, you know? So, I personally, I love it. I, I love that I get to be a part of it. On the MMA side, I said it. No. <laughs> if you can't be there in person, please, please, by all means, check me out on Fight TV. And if you're going to be there in person, SubversiveBJJ.com. Get your tickets. I promise you, you won't want to miss out on this. Your boy's going to be part of it, so you already know. You're going to get your seven chuckles and then some. And watch this. Hey, your boy's been practicing jujitsu, so, you know, what, 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 see that move? Now watch this. Now I'm telling you right now, if you don't check it out, I'm going to come find you. I know where you at. Don't, don't, don't think this is a game because it's not a game. It's not a game, son. No, but for real, check me out this Sunday, SubversiveBJJ.com. Get your tickets. I'm on Fight TV Live Sunday, the 4th. That's coming up, baby. Ah!